for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff, especially free super cool blasters. So when the good folks at BU Blasters reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review some stuff, I said absolutely! So they sent me a link to their website, and uh, I, uh, I went nuts. Uh, I re <laughs> They've got a lot of wacky stuff. They've got a lot of the really nice worker products there, so you'll see some of them here. Uh, they also have some of the more dubious knockoff stuff that we're not huge fans of in the hobby, but uh, it's there. And then they have a whole bunch of stuff that I ain't never seen anywhere before. And uh, I scrolled through it all and there was a lot of ones going, I, I'm curious about that. Well, yeah, curious about that one. But ultimately I, I, I went with these three because I knew they were almost certainly good products or ones that I just really wanted to have another one of. Um, and they were in my colors and, and all of that. And so I asked, uh, hey, uh, these are the three I'm interested in, you know, you know, which ones can you send? And they just went, we send all. And so here they all are. And so I'm gonna go through that. But definitely, definitely take a look at their website and look through and let me know what stuff you would like to see me review because there's a lot of weird stuff there that I've never seen anywhere else that I'd be really interested to review, but I'm just not sure how to pick. So I'll let you guys give suggestions of what you would like to see me review. Just link in the comments. Um, but let's see what we got. So first off, I got myself a fire rat. And uh, turns out they now make fire rats in my colors. And uh, well, that's just gorgeous. Um, injection molded, really neat design, very svelte. Um, obviously, there's definitely concern about how you know, realistic it looks because they do have ones that come in darker colors. Even the bright orange, that's an awfully realistic looking profile. Um, I wouldn't mind using this like on, in my arena or you know, on private locations, afterworlds maybe. Definitely would not recommend taking this to, you know, an HVZ or a public Nerf War. Uh, though, you know, it would depend on the nature, you know. Common sense, use common sense. This thing is a little bit frightening. Uh, Magazine in the handle and a very comfortable grip. Uh, a lot of the magazine in the handle blasters, the handle ends up being way too big and uncomfortable. This one is super comfy. It's got a slightly rubberized grip. It's just fabulous. One weird thing is that you have to squeeze these two pins to prime it. And I know apparently a lot of people just take those out because they're not necessary. And then it primes and it will hold open on an empty magazine, which is pretty nifty. Uh, so yeah, that thing is fabulous and neat and will probably end up in my Afterworld loadout just because of how cool it is. So that's the Fire Rat. I will be getting uh, some FPS readings on these, the out-of-the-box FPS readings. I take it out into the range, but it's currently pouring rain. It is damp. It does come with instructions, though they are not in English. Is this, does this open? It does, and there's nothing inside. Okay, so, but it's fairly straightforward. Pull, prime, yeah. The next one I picked up, I did get me a Worker Phoenix 2.0, because it was on the list, and I wanted one, and you guessed it, it comes in my colors. So that is pretty fantastic. Um, that goes, oh, no, that's the grip. I was afraid when I first saw these that the grip wouldn't be removable. I am very glad that it is. I would have preferred Picatinny rail and a rail attached grip, but we can't have everything. It does have uh, a nifty looking muzzle there, and then uh, it, it uses the angled talon mags, the worker talon mags. Um, and it does come with one. I am glad once again that I grabbed a bunch early on. Uh, it comes with a collapsible stock, and I don't know if this is standard from this website, but mine did in fact come with the Select Fire Kit. Uh, I may have already opened it up and put a lipo in it. So there is a lipo in there. Uh, the one downside, the thing I'm running into is, again, the instructions are uh, not in English, and I have no idea how to actually adjust the settings. There are buttons upon it and I have no idea what they do. However, there are a pair of switches up here which apparently manually adjust things. So I do have full auto, but also semi-auto with motor braking and then semi-auto without motor braking. 
And that appears to be all of the settings I can get with just those. I can't adjust like the, the rate of fire or the FPS, and I really would like to, because currently it's hitting just a scotch too hot for HVZ, but it would, uh, but I assume that's because it's at 100% setting. So uh, if I could dial that down, that would be fantastic. But again, super svelte, super comfy. The grip is a little bit bigger because it's for Talon mags as opposed to the proprietary mags of the, the previous one, but it's still not too bad. I have big hands and it's a little big for me, but not uncomfortably so. Uh, the mag release is not ambidextrous, but uh, not bad. It's, it's a little cumbersome to reach it, but it's also not so tight that you can actually just pull it out without releasing the mag release, so. Uh, it's not going to fall out. If you re if you push it, it will fall out, but you can also pull it out. So not too bent out of shape about the uh, the magazine release. There are some odd additional screw options, and I'm not sure what they're for. That is fascinating. Um, love the collapsible stock. It's very adjustable, very sturdy. Metal bits, all of that. Rail up here, obviously, as part of the Select Fire Kit. Lots of room in the battery housing. It's uh, it's just all around really, really nice. So we'll be taking a look at that and seeing how well it performs for the FIPS here in a second. And the final one that I asked for, because again, it was on the list and it was just too, too good to pass up, I got myself another Worker Swift. Now I've already done a full review on the Swift, on building it and all of that. Uh, this is the base kit. Uh, it doesn't have all of the, the upgrade parts that you can get. Uh, as far as I know, uh, yeah, it still has the, the plastic breech, which you definitely want to upgrade because that breaks quite easily. It does, however, also come with the uh, huh super secret upgrade kit tucked in underneath. So be aware of that. It is under there and you probably are going to want that because that gets it up to a decent number. Uh, but it also came with the various O-rings and replacement MacGuffins as well as all of your screws. Uh, came with the scar barrel. So you've got the longer barrel and the heavier spring. Uh, all of that comes with it. Absolutely a fantastic blaster. I do highly recommend the upgraded metal parts, uh, especially the breech here for the barrel lock. Uh, they also come with, have a metal trigger that you can get and there are thumb screws available for it and I highly recommend all of those. But as far as out of the box um, pump action high performance blasters, this one is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, just the, the ergonomics of it, the fact that it's all injection molded just makes it such an absolute dream to fire. And now that I have two of them, I can, I can dial one down to um, lower end, 150, try to get as close to that 150 for my local wars as possible, and then I will probably build the other one. Uh, ridiculous to see just what I can get out of it for plinking on the range. So those are the blasters that I acquired. I'm going to throw this one together really quick and uh, see what it what the performance is just out of the box without any of the additional upgrades, just putting it together and firing some darts out of it. And I will also put some darts to all these. So uh, one moment and we shall reconvene at the chronograph. Train. Right, we're going to start with the fire rat firing the ammunition it came with, which were some weird bamboo FVJ looking things. No modifications to the blaster, so this is the performance right out of the box, or at least it's the performance you'd get in the Pacific Northwest when it's freezing. So let's take a look, see how it works. 108. 100. 108. 98. Let's do one more. 108 again. Oh, well, not bad for for its size and for no other in uh, any other modifications. That's that's really quite good. You could use that in an HVZ if it weren't such an alarmingly realistic looking profile. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely could probably use a heavier spring. Uh, I assume it could take a heavier spring. Couldn't tell you for sure. Let's take a look at the next one. Phoenix 2.0, currently on semi-auto. We'll give it a couple of shots with that, then we'll switch over to full and see how we like that. 138. 144. 
143. And stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Definitely, I mean, right now it's perfect for a Nerf War. If I wanted to use it for an HVZ, which this would actually make a really nice uh, blaster for, say, a scout in, in the, uh, the auxiliary because select fire, uh, very compact, half dart, very, very nice. Uh, but I would need to figure out how to actually adjust that, that, that rate of fire to get it down to the 130s or 120s, depending on uh, what war I'm going to. But, uh, yeah! So svelte! I like it. All right, let's take a look at that Swift. Right, again, this is the simplest configuration. Just put it together out of the box. I did put the scar barrel on, put it all together. We'll see what we get. I suspect it's not going to be terribly impressive because this thing was definitely built to be heavily uh, customizable and it hasn't been customized. But we'll see what we get out of the box. 139. 110, 115, 126, 110. Yeah, definitely on the lower end. You could actually use this at an HVZ if you really wanted to. I'd like to get it up a little bit closer to 150, and I, you know I need to figure out what's the right spring and barrel configuration and all of that to get it to the 150. And then I, I want to go nuts on one and just put in all the bells and whistles, the long barrel, the heavier spring, all that jazz. Um, but it's uh, very, very nice. Okay, the weather actually appears to be behaving itself. The sun is shining, the rain has stopped. I'm gonna try to get out to the range real quick and uh, plink a bit so that you can see what they're like on the range, and then we'll talk about it some more. Here we go. All right, we're on the range, losing daylight. Uh, we'll start with, again, the fire rat. See how it performs firing the ammo it came with. Oh, well, it's accurate. I was aiming for the close one, I hit the one behind it. I'll take it. Let's see how it fires uh, other ammunition, because that was the stuff it came with. But uh, it only comes with the 10, and I have no idea where you would get more bamboo FVJ. So let's try something else, some, uh, some uh, dart zone. Right, got dart zone ones in there, and they seem, they seem a little sticky, because they don't have, they've got the rubbery heads, and they might be a scotch longer. So we'll see how well it feeds. Oh, definitely just jammed. I think it closed that time. Yep. There we go. So just the one that stuck. Um, I'm not sure what you could do about that. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. But I like it. Fires well. All right, try the, uh, the Phoenix. Right, Phoenix 2.0. Fabulous. Uh, currently got it loaded up with uh, Gen 3 workers, the purple ones. Got it on semi-auto. We'll take a couple of planks and then we'll uh, we'll do some dump. So nice. Let's try that other mo train. Try it with the uh, one with motor braking. So nice. Hey. Right. Do you mind? Mag dump time. Is that all I had left? Nope. Oh, I must have it on, is it on burst mode? Nope. Neat. I like it. I really like it. I just need to figure out how to adjust the FPS. Now for the Swift. All right, time for the Swift. See how it does. Oh, a little low. Oh, it is not doing well. This is problem. That was weird. Oh. We blew a head off and the foam was still in the barrel. Let's try again. <sighs> Having issues. It 
it definitely wants for a heavier spring and a longer barrel. I don't recommend the stock configuration. It, uh, it, it, uh, all right, back to the shop. Right, well, performance I think speaks for itself. This one is absolutely magnificent out of the box. I just need to figure out how to adjust the settings. These two both could use a little bit of modification. This one is obviously absolutely designed for it. There are upgrade parts, there are better springs, better barrels, better scars, all that stuff exists for this already. It is just a magnificent platform. Love the form factor, love the design. Uh, this one, same thing, beautiful design. Again, not great for public events just because of the form factor, especially depending on color. They do have a clear variant that would probably be a lot less terrifying, but, um, Definitely could use some upgrades. I wish there was a, a good source for additional magazines uh, and possibly ammo. I mean, if you if you cut your own like full length darts down, you might be able to cut them just a hair shorter and make them work better in this. But as it is, it's just a wonderful little plinker. Um, the accuracy is there. The performance is just a little lacking, but probably um, that can be easily corrected. I don't know. I won't know until I try it actually modifying it, so uh, stay tuned for that eventually. Absolutely, obviously love that they all come in my colors. That was, uh, that was a wonderful surprise. I wasn't expecting this one to come in orange. I think the original colors were gray and teal, and then they came out with an orange one, and it was just made me happy. Same thing with the Swift. The original one was white, and then they came out with um, the, the orange one, and uh, well, this one comes in a variety of colors. So again, check out the website. My thanks to Bree Blasters for sending me all of this because this is uh, not a, an insubstantial amount of value in blasters right here. But please check out their website and let me know which of the weird ones you'd like me to review and I will reach out to them and see what they're willing to send. In the meantime, check out the, their worker products and whatever else they have. They also have gel blasters and tactical gear and all sorts of neat stuff. So check out Bree Blasters, link in the description. And thank you guys for watching. Ha ha! You are my mind, my mind, my mind.